what up people welcome back to the channel hopping right back into another IRL baseball video I know all of us baseball fans are really sad this season should be happening right now the Red Sox should be absolutely dominating everyone but unfortunately we can't because of this thing flying around ruining everything it's really annoying and I hate it so to relieve some of that hatred or that upsetness or whatever the word is I don't know babe what's the word I'm looking for Sadness, yeah, there we go. To relieve some of the sadness, I decided to do a baseball IRL video right now. And you might be wondering what the video is. Well, right here, I picked up the cheapest bat I could find on Amazon that was wood. Now, we've done this before, kind of, with a metal bat, and uh, it went really well. The bat was absolutely trash, and I decided to pick up the wood version of it. It is just called Baseball Bat, pretty generic. I can't think of a more uh, generic name, honestly, than Baseball Bat. The metal bat was called Bat. It was just called Bat. This one at least has baseball in it, so maybe this bat's a lot better, and we're gonna see how good it is today. Do you need to spend $150 on a wood bat to be good, or do you need to spend like five bucks on a wood bat to be good? So we're gonna find out today. And also, a really dope gift was sent to me from the Cam Wood Bat. Okay, now, last video I did, the last IRL video I did, I used one of the weirdest bats I've ever seen, and they actually reached out to me and saw that my tee was broken and sent me a brand new tee. Now, this tee is freaking sick. Let me show you real quick. Boom! Custom made Mighty Goat tee. It's built beautifully. Now this could not have came at a better time, bro. My old tee, like I said, was breaking. It could barely hold balls. The balls were literally sliding all the way in. It was really messed up. But thank God they were here to save today. So shout out to Cam Wood Bats. And they didn't pay me or anything. I'm just giving them a shout out because this thing is freaking dope. And they sent it to me. So thank you so much if you're watching this. Let's go, baby. And yeah, I really wanted to get a freaking baseball field to use this bat, but obviously this time of year, with everything going on, I couldn't rent a field, so my bad. But yeah, we're gonna have to deal with the sandlot. Sandlot looking a little rough, dude. It needs a haircut, it's looking pretty rough, but whatever. Let's go hit some balls, baby. And now I'm sure there's gonna be someone, a hater in the comments, saying that I'm ruining America or whatever. Bro, we made sure that no one was here, okay? We were in like, I don't know, 10 acres of land with no one around, so we're making sure we're safe. We're making sure we're not getting in, into any contact with anyone, okay? So yeah, make sure you guys are smart during this time. Don't go out in the public, okay, if you don't have to, and don't be an idiot. Talking to you, don't be an idiot. Okay, let's go. And yeah, dude, the sand lot, like I said, is looking real rough. Bro, we got a freaking swamp here now. Thank God we're not living in like Alabama or Florida or something where an alligator would come up and bite me in the leg because that is exactly where an alligator would be living. So no no getting bit by an alligator, but yeah, first hit off the tee. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And now a lot of people keep saying, Marty, you do the same thing every video, dude. Change it up. And I say, how else can I change it up? Really, let me know in the comment section below how you want me to change this up, and I will definitely do it. So yeah, pretty much, I warm up with this. We see how fast I'm hitting the ball with this one. Then we go to the crappy bat, and then we go for distance maybe if we're feeling like it. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's keep hitting a little bit. This tee feels pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little wider than most, and I think that might be why it's not tilting. Like that old tee, when you hit it, uh, you know, it tilts over. You need to wait on it. This thing, don't even need anything, but. Let's go see how fast I'm hitting the ball today. Maybe we can hit triple digits. Doubt it. We haven't hit triple digits in a while. And it's not like I've gotten better. So, let's go. Man, Ooh. 87, all right, that's pretty good. Let's do a couple more here. Try to hit 90, ow. My jaw just popped. We're good. 78. What the F is going on? I don't think that was good. That did not feel too good. 85? Alright, we'll do one more. I think the highest was what? 87? Mm. So we're gonna do one more. Try to hit 90 and then go to the crappy bat. Oh, I hit that one pretty solid. That felt good. 87. God dang it. Alright, well, looks like we are uh we're maxing out at 87 today. Not the greatest, not the worst. Better than like a 12-year-old. A little bit worse than most people, but we're going to the crappy bat. Gotta beat 87. Let's go. Yeah, just by holding this bat, it feels so bad. It is like, it's like all the same size. Like, the barrel is almost as thick as the handle. This thing is trash, dude. But I mean, it was like five bucks, so what can you expect? Oh, God. That did not feel great. 63. All right, yeah, I hit that horribly. Probably because it's like a broomstick. But we're gonna go again here. Oh, my God. 
It literally sounds like I'm hitting it with a broomstick. 80, I'm telling you, if I square one of these up, it's gonna go 100, I guarantee it. I got two below that one. That was probably 70, yeah, 62. God dang. Oh no. No. We lost one of our minions. No. Buddy. No. He lived a good life. May he rest in pieces. Boom, squared it up, baby. Give me 90s. 79. What the F is going on? All right. I'm gonna hit one more ball and I'm going to swing as hard as I've ever swung before to try to get 100 miles an hour. I, I swear I squared that one up and it only went 79, which is pretty stupid, but we're going for triple digits, baby. Screw that. Quadruple digits. We're going for a thousand. Boom! 84. Frick. All right, so test number one obviously went to the Victus. This thing hit 87. This thing, though, for the price difference was uh, pretty close. I mean, so far, the only big difference I've seen is the appearance. This bat, dude, is literally, this is the thickest handle I've ever seen on a wood bat. Or no, maybe not the thickest handle, but the thinnest barrel. Like, look, look at the difference, bro. Like, dude, you're getting half the bat for, like, what is that? This was, like, five. This is, like, 150. That's like a billion times off or something. But yeah, round one goes to the Victus. We're gonna go for distance now. I really wish we had a field because I wanted to see if I could hit a home run with the cheapest wood bat on Amazon, but I couldn't, which is pretty unfortunate. But we're going for distance now. Um, that's, that's it, okay, let's go. All right, we're gonna go three swings each. Longest ball is the winner. And I'm gonna aim for center field every single time so it's easier to find them. If I make one in the goal out there, everyone wins a billion dollars, let's go. Oh my god, got way too under it. That was not good. That thing went about 197 feet. Not great, but that was a horrible hit. Good thing we got two more. Oh my god, I am trash, dude. I'm literally the worst baseball player ever. I'm sad, I can't hit anymore. <sighs> Come on. I'm gonna lose my mind, okay? I'm gonna lose my mind. I almost hit that. That would've been really unfortunate for the camera because it would've broke. Because I hit like a freaking train. A freight train. Going fast, real fast. And since those three were so pathetic, we're gonna go one more here. Um, dude, I don't know what's going on with my hitting, bro. It's horrible. Like, I'm trash. Literal trash. I'm a trash can. I'm the trash can the Astros were banging. Wait. Cut that. Oh. All right, that's a little bit better. Yeah, that thing actually went pretty far. Off the bat, it didn't feel great, but after, after I saw where that thing landed, it was pretty solid, so that's gonna be pretty tough to beat, but if it does, guarantees that the cheap wood bat is way better. Let's go to the cheap one. And no, we don't have a measuring tape to measure exactly how far the balls go, so we're not gonna scientifically be able to back which bat is better, but we're gonna be able to tell with our eyeballs, okay? We know exactly where that thing landed, so once I hit these, I'm gonna say, yeah, it went farther, or no, it didn't go as far, okay, so. Okay. That one didn't go good. That was horrible, because I saw it. Oh my God, literally, the same thing. The same thing. How about we change it up here, Mighty? How about no more ground balls to short? How about we hit a home run to dead center field? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a goal, baby. You went straight through the goal, but I don't think it went farther. So we're gonna get one more fourth hit here. Mammo, whammo. Time. Come on. That one stung the old phalanges a little bit right there. Not gonna lie. Okay, so uh, test number two, kind of interesting. The Victus obviously won, it hit the farthest ball. Uh, it also fell the best, but if you guys are trying to play soccer with a baseball bat, the cheap wood bat is the only one that scored a goal, so keep that in mind when you're searching for a baseball bat. If you ever, maybe, who knows, maybe since the MLB season's kind of messed up, they're gonna add a new rule where they go, hey, we're gonna play one inning Whoever scores the most goals. And in that case, I'd go for the cheap bat. Mike Trout, if you're watching, screw the Victus, bro. Go for the cheap Amazon bat. I got one right here. I got one for you. Now, I know you guys have all been asking me, Mighty, how strong is the bat? Like, bro, if I take this to my game, am I gonna get a broken bat first at bat? Well, I'm gonna tell you today, because we're gonna test, okay? I'm gonna put the ball on the tee and hit it with the handle. If this thing withstands 
three or four hits, I think it's quality. And I think it's the best bat I ever made. And I'm not gonna do it with the Victus because that bat is literally 30 times as expensive as this one. And I'm not breaking it. But I will break it if this video gets 35 million likes. So let's go see if we can break this bat. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh! Oh my God. That was murdered. Okay. I won't lie. I hit that better than I did swinging the normal way. So maybe I was holding the bat backwards the whole time. Mother of God. All right, absolutely no damage. We're gonna go two or three more to see if this thing can withstand. The wrath of the goat. Oh. 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 I don't know why that hurt so bad, my God. I think I just got a mouth of cat hair. What just happened to me? I don't know. But the bat, look, it's still pretty good. If you guys, oh, you're not squaring it up. Tell me that's not right in the middle. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, we're gonna do one more here. You're making me look real stupid. I am not leaving until this freaking bat breaks. Oh! Andrew, that's too loud. Okay, we got some damage here. This is good. It took four or five smacks against the metal pole, and now we're gonna hit one more off the end to shatter this thing. Let's go, baby. But yeah, if I can't break this thing, I'm a loser. And I'm not being a loser today. No, sir. You've gotta be kidding me. Look at this thing. It is split all the way to the top. Ow. <laughs> Look at what is going on? Okay, I don't think I should swing one more time because I feel like it might slide off, but we're doing it anyways. Andrew, I don't want to die. I'm being serious, that's stupid. This is for the boys. Bone apple to eat, boys and girls. Woo! But yeah, as you can see, if you're as strong as me, as athletic as me, you can break this thing relatively easily. I broke it by hitting a strand of grass that was on the tee. If you guys don't believe me, I guess rewatch the video because that's what happened, okay? But yeah, guys, that is gonna end the video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was kind of a weird one. We had a completely different plan for this video, but unfortunately, like I said at the beginning, we weren't able to get to field and stuff, so we had to change it up because, you know, everything going on in the world. But yeah, stay safe, guys. Make sure you're washing your hands. Stay home, okay? Don't go out in public. Don't, just don't do it. Just wait a couple months, a couple weeks, whatever it is, and then just do whatever you want, okay? Stay home, chill with your family, wash your hands, Brush your teeth. You should be brushing your teeth anyways. Come on. No one wants cavities. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button. More IRL videos coming very soon. Uh, hopefully we can get a feel. Like I said, hopefully this thing blows over real fast. A couple days from now, who knows? Maybe we'll be hitting a home run. Did you see? This thing just swung at me. I didn't admit. That thing hit me in the face. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Okay, ow, ow. But with that note, before this bat knocks me out cold into the alligator swamp, we're out of here. We'll see you in the next one. A peace. Again, wash your hands, stay safe. Come on, baby. Let's get this thing over with so I can go to a field and make some freaking bangers. But I'm out, I'll see you in the next one. A peace.